A-I-T-A. Am I the a-hole for not wanting my daughter to marry her cousin? My daughter is planning on getting married very soon. However, I found out last week upon doing research on our family tree, that my daughter's fiancé is her fifth cousin. I initially didn't know how to break this news to her, but I finally did several days ago. My daughter apparently thought that this is perfectly fine, and that she's still going to marry him anyway. I told her that I don't approve of this marriage, and that even though I initially agreed to pay for this wedding, I will not be paying for it if she decides to go through with it. We got into a huge fight, which ended with her telling me that she's cutting me out of her life. I honestly don't know what to do. I just don't want my daughter to marry her friggin' cousin. YTA. You're the a-hole. You agreed to help pay for the wedding. Fifth cousin is basically nothing, and they were already in love and getting married super soon before finding this out. Were you looking for a reason not to like her fiancé or something? Sounds like it. You're throwing a hissy fit over someone who was great 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 grandpa's brother's kids 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 kid. Do you know how ridiculous that sounds? You can't even realistically call them related at that point, unless you are misinterpreting what a fifth cousin is. If you look hard enough, everyone is related. YTA YTA Average percent of DNA shared, 0.05% according to a quick Google. Negligible at worst. In any case, that you had to look for it, should have been a clue that it isn't an issue. Everyone is related if you go back far enough, including you and your partner. YTA Fifth cousin is a very distant relation and you're being a drama queen for reacting this way. You realize that any man she meets is going to be related to her in one way or another. What happens if she meets her 223rd cousin? Not a big deal. Everyone on earth is at most 50th cousins with each other. YTA Grow up. Seriously. Reread what you wrote and tell me you don't already know YTA. You're also ruining your kid's wedding and making it about yourself at this point. YTA for that also. YTA. Fifth cousin? Fifth. They have more DNA in common with a potato than with each other. Fifth cousin? As in a complete stranger who isn't part of your family? Yeah either you're lying to yourself and or your daughter about the real reason you don't approve, or you legit believe this is a problem for some reason that only makes sense to you. Either way, YTA. You're lying to yourself and or your daughter about the real reason you don't approve. This is exactly it. Chances are OP just doesn't like fiancé and is grasping at straws. YTA. YTA. I hope you're joking. A fifth cousin is nothing. Half the people you pass in the street are your fifth cousin. Seriously. Go to an island country like Iceland or Malta, and literally everybody on the island is more closely related than Op's daughter and her fiancé. OP is just looking for an excuse to shoot on the marriage, and this was the best she could come up with. Definite YTA. YTA. Fifth cousin means they share one great 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 grandparent. You have four grandparents. Eight great grandparents. 16 great-grandparents 32 great-great-grandparents 64 great-great-great-grandparents 128 great-great-great-great-grandparents 5 cousin means one of those 128 was the same. Get over yourself. LMAO This is so hilarious honestly, and OP is treating it so seriously. Imagine going up to your daughter, who's about to get married and saying, sit down sweetie, I have to tell you something. We all have to be strong here. Deep breath, it turns out Jeffrey is. Well he's, sobs, an extremely distant relation much like the rest of the populace. I'm so sorry to be the one to break this to you. 
Obviously mom just hates the fiancé and is desperately looking for an out. One of my friends once said the rule of thumb is, if someone shows up at the wedding and doesn't know which side of the aisle to sit on, it's too close. Since no one even knew they were related till OP did some heavy research, doubt that is a problem so they're good. Pretty sure if fifth cousins was against the rules, half of rural America wouldn't be able to get married, because people stay around where they're from and most everyone is related if you dig down the line enough. If you're really that worried OP, get a consultation from a doctor to see if it's actually a health risk. Otherwise, keep your promise to your daughter. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip are something like fifth cousins through Queen Victoria's lineage I believe, as you say, it's not particularly related at all, and some families may have those connections through marriage rather than blood. Fifth cousin means you share the same great-great-great-great-grandparents. Considering how big families used to be, people probably have a lot of fifth cousins. And when you think about it, all humans are cousins if you're willing to look at the nth degree of cousinhood. Just did some googling and found a site that had estimates of how many fifth cousins people have, based on statistical averages 4,700 to 17,300. There are probably a lot of people out there married to their fifth cousins without even knowing it. You could practically sneeze on someone and become more related than fifth cousins. Also, YTA. YTA. Why were you even looking into it? Also as far as I know, fifth cousins might as well not be related for all purposes. They are in love and happy. This. Why were you even looking? Is it because you're getting hit hard financially right now, like so many people, and looking for an out so you don't have to pay for the wedding? If so, just be honest with your daughter about possibly having to postpone, instead of making it about something irrelevant. YTA. You're the a-hole be honest. You are a difficult and angry person to be around, always lashing out, and if the spotlight is ever pointed at someone else, you begin to screech incomprehensibly over minuscule non-important details. Aren't you tired of all of your own shoot? Are you the daughter? YTA. That's a pretty big genetic gap, I bet most people who have lived in the same place their whole life, and for several generations before them will be in some way related to their partner with the same circumstances. I do get why it weirds you out a bit, but it's not like they are closely related and weren't raised as cousins either. YTA. And I dare you to look into how closely related you were to your spouse. YTA. Sure does look like you hate your daughter's partner, and we're searching for anything to break them up. Also, for what it's worth, your daughter didn't cut you off for just this. It takes more than one argument for a kid to cut off a parent like that. It's time to look in a mirror and figure out what you did, and what you've been doing for a long time. You need to reanalyze your relationship with your daughter, preferably from a place of empathy and trying to see things from her perspective. If you want a relationship with your daughter and future grandkids, it's time to do some serious self-reflection and ask yourself why this relationship your daughter and her fiancé have makes you so angry. It sure as shit isn't because they're cousins, you were very clearly looking for an excuse. I am my own grandpa. And YTA. Even in the Middle Ages, where cousin marriages were extremely regulated, they only banned to fourth cousins without a dispensation. Even in the Middle Ages this would have been okay. They're not related. And you looking it up was creepy as heck. YTA. I'm gonna say NAH. No a-holes here because I understand why this would be alarming for you, but fifth cousin is barely related. You need to get over the initial shock and think about this rationally. You are so distantly related that you didn't even know you were related when they first started dating. I live on an island with a small population and I promise you, fifth cousins getting married is not an issue. If you want to keep your relationship with your daughter, 
you should apologize and make amends.